and I'm going to show you a very basic PHP application that involves a few variables and some calculations. By now, you should have already installed the Apache PHP and MySQL or the uh, XAMPP uh, application, so you should be able to run your own PHP code. Now, first of all, I'm going to launch my Adobe Dreamweaver. You don't have to have Dreamweaver installed on your PC. You can use uh, TextPad or Notepad uh, or even any other um, word processing or something very basic uh, to, be, to design your own PHP script. I'm going to use Dreamweaver because in the, um, in the next tutorials, I'll show you how to design a more sophisticated, interactive, and advanced PHP applications. Uh, that will involve some SQL, SQL queries and a lot of other functionalities. Okay, so this is the index page we created last time, and I'm, I'm going to delete this bit just so I did a very basic echo um, and uh, displayed some outputs. So in this tutorial, what I'll do, I'll uh, show you how to define a variable in PHP and uh, do a bit of calculations. First of all, you need to define the, um, the tag of PHP. Now, Dreamweaver recognizes PHP tag. First of all, um, briefly, PHP, uh, when, when you... Um, declare a variable you don't unlike um, C or Java you don't have to specify the uh, the variable type unless you, you create a constructor or something of that nature we'll come to that later but you don't need to specify what kind of variable you are going to declare for example there are so many different variables like character number which could be integer or, um, or a real number and uh, could be like a sentence, like a string, but in PHP, the PHP, the value you assign to a variable, the variable will act to be a, a variable of that kind. For example, if you assign a number, which is 2, to a variable x, x will become uh, an integer kind of a variable. Okay, let's, let's see in practice what happens. In PHP, you have got to declare a variable the dollar sign for example if you type in the dollar sign and then type in a variable name which is uh, my d a r one let's let's give it um let's assign a value and let's say the value of my var, var one is 20. you have to close with the semicolon uh, you have got to close the line and that's that's the way you do it in the php and let's get another, let's de define another variable which is um my var two and let's give it a value of forty. I even have to give it a space between the uh, equal sign and the variable. But it, it looks nicer. Let's um let's define another variable. Let's call it um sum. And the summation will be uh, the um, variable one plus variable two. Now the output will be. I'll show you what the output will be like. Echo is the function to um, print the uh, print anything. Or you, you can in use print instead. Both are okay. We'll use echo. Echo and the variable. Okay, so according to um, Dreamweaver, there is no syntax error. So I'll just save it and run. I have to start the Apache MySQL server. I forgot to do that. 
the mouse still isn't moved at all because we're not doing anything to database. We'll save the page. There we go, the 60. Uh, so here we we have worked with two different variables, variable one and variable two. Uh, the summation, the uh, the total of the um, um, variable one and variable two has been calculated here. So the sum, the variable, has uh, has been assigned with a value, which is the um, the total of var one and variable two. Now, if I change the value here, let's see what happens. Sixty plus. 20, the total will be 80, we'll save it, and uh, let's refresh the web page, 80. So this is a very basic calculation, I mean in PHP, again, you don't have to define a value, so you don't have, you don't have to define a variable to be type, uh, if it's uh, an integer, or if it's a string, or even a real, the value assigned to a variable will determine what kind of variable that is which is very easy in a way, so you don't have to worry about um, declaring a variable and later on you assign a wrong value to it, for example if you assign an integer, integer to a real uh, variable then in most cases, in most program languages the system returns you an error, but in PHP it should be just fine in that way PHP is, is much smarter than other, thing, uh, other programming languages Okay, thank you for watching and we'll show you a lot more in the near future.